Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Logitech MX Mechanical Mini Wireless Keyboard for Mac. As a part of Logitech's Master Series, the MS Mechanical Keyboard has everything you need to support a professional and creative workflow while still maintaining a minimalist style. If you're a fan of Apple tech, then you'll be interested to hear that the MX range has now been specially designed to work perfectly with Mac devices, whether you're rocking an iMac, MacBook or iPad. Taking it out of the box, you'll find the keyboard gently wrapped inside tissue just inside the opening, ready for instant plug and play connection to your device. As you'll see on the outside of the box, the Mac variants won't come with a receiver like the Logibolt as most new Mac devices don't support USB-A connections. It largely works with Bluetooth low energy connection. And as you'll see on the inside of the lid, there's a series of easy to follow connection instructions mapped out in a handy little diagram. You can still use the Logibolt if you're able, but no matter what connection method you use, it's clear to see that it takes no time to set up at all. Just under the keyboard inside the box, you'll find a little compartment that holds the USB-C charging cable and a few safety and instruction guides. It's a decent length, measuring about 40 inches long, great for charging on the go when the battery's low. Taking the keyboard in hand, I can already see a lot of functions that I could really use on a daily basis. This keyboard was clearly built with creators and professionals in mind. Along the top, you get a few additional time-saving shortcuts like the dictation key for making quick voice notes, the emoji key for adding a bit of expression to messages, and even a screen capture key for grabbing quick screenshots in seconds. I can easily see myself needing features like this in especially a fast-paced work environment, but also just as tools for maintaining my creative workflow in personal projects at home. Taking a look at the overall design, it's nice and sturdy while still being quite light, only weighing roughly 612 grams. It's largely built using a hard-wearing plastic with a single stylistic sheet of low-carbon aluminium just under the keys. It comes in two colour variants, this pale grey and a much darker space grey. Interestingly though, the plastic used in this keyboard is 47% post-consumer recycled plastic from old electronics, which is brilliant knowing that it's slightly better for the environment. I'm more on the side of clean white accessories, but both of these shades really work well with the signature colour scheme of most Mac devices. I like how there's two little stand legs on the back offering an 8 degree angle in case I want to prop it up slightly. Along the top on the right hand side you'll also find a handy little toggle switch for powering down when not in use as well as a single USB-C charging port. It may be a small detail but I like the inclusion of the green LED in the top corner that indicates when it's turned on, reminding me to switch it off when I'm done to help the battery last longer. I personally have a preference for a wireless design in a keyboard. Now I like to fidget and move around, so it's nice being free to move the keyboard exactly where I want it, and as it has the easy switch function in the top left corner, it does enable switching between devices effortlessly, connecting up to three at a time, but without unplugging and reconnecting Bluetooth repeatedly each time. Now the MX Mechanical Mini has been gifted with a soft white backlight, adding a little bit of luxury and style while also literally shedding light on the keys for better visibility and low light. When the lights are low, it just looks impressive, creating a soft glow under and around the keys for perfect visibility at all times. Of course, you can manually turn off or adjust the brightness of the backlight using the function keys along the top if you need to, and even includes a selection of light patterns to choose from in the Logi Options app if you want to add a little bit of personality. But interestingly, it houses a smart dimming system that turns on and off just using a proximity sensor to adjust the lights better depending on the light levels within the room and of course your general motion. I love how intelligent this feature is, even turning the lights off completely when it detects that the light is bright. Though you can't keep the lights on permanently, I like how it plays to the whole economic energy saving vibe that I do get from most new Logitech devices and it helps extend the battery life for longer without being tethered to the power at all times. As well as looking the part and having some really great features, I found the overall design really really makes typing a pleasant experience over a long period of time. The traditional tactile style mechanical keys are quite clicky, but they have the best of both worlds, offering that satisfying sound while still managing to remain soft and shallow. The matte coating can be prone to fingerprint smudges over time, kind of making me conscious of hand cleanliness a little more than usual, especially with this white colouring. But to be honest, I prefer the slightly grippier texture, especially for fast typing. Overall though, I think I can now get on board with a mechanical style keyboard after being adverse to it for so long. I still get the experience, but with the near silent keys, it just leaves one less distraction for myself and others around me in an office environment. There's also no visible lag, typing as fast and precise as my thought process is quite flattering and low to the desk, letting my hands sit in a more natural resting position when typing. To give you an idea, here's a quick sound sample of what you'd hear when typing continuously and pressing individual keys.
Now, if you really want to make the most out of this keyboard, you're going to want to download the accompanying Logi Options app. It's available for Mac from the Logitech support website and takes a few minutes to install and link up to all your Logitech devices. But once you're set up, it opens up a whole range of customization options for your keys, as well as monitoring the backlight and battery life too. Though the keyboard has a Mac layout, you can easily reassign any of the keys along the top and right hand side to any function that you need and there's a whole list to choose from, even like being able to assign specific keys to jump to my most used menus and programs within my iMac for getting around much quicker. Now I know you might not want an all Logitech setup, but from my experience using this Master 3S for Mac alongside the keyboard, I did find them to work really well considering it's often hard to find a decent third party Mac compatible device. I also found it helpful to be able to control my Mac mouse and keyboard functions in more detail within the same app. And with them both using the Easy Switch system, it was quick to jump between iMac and iPad, for example, without any trouble. As it powers up using a rechargeable LiPo battery, it's designed to last longer and be more economically friendly. Of course, the runtime is highly dependent on the backlight, lasting 15 days from full charge with the backlight on and a staggering 10 months with it off. I personally don't mind the short battery life if I get to utilize the backlight more during the evenings. It's one of the best features and with it having USB-C charging, it seems convenient enough to just pop it on charge between uses. So after using the MX mechanical keyboard for a few hours, I can see the benefits of adding this modern, clean accessory to my Mac setup. I love the mini size, letting me opt for a more manageable, portable setup better suited to an ergonomic style. It's incredibly responsive and the flat mechanical keys are much more comfortable for faster typing, leaving little room for mistakes. The main selling points for me is the adaptive backlight and the customizable key functions, as well as the lightweight nature of it. Not only do I have the freedom to position it best to where I find comfortable, I also get the light only when I need it, which is brilliant for maintaining that long battery life. So if you're looking for a modern accessory that works incredibly well with your Apple devices, this keyboard may just be one to watch out for. So what are your thoughts on the MX Mechanical Mini for Mac? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.